The Marine Monument is this beautiful, wondrous, mysterious place right off our coast at the exact point where two currents merge. The Gulf Stream actually comes up as a surface current and it's a lot of warm water and bringing nutrients, but the cold climate actually keeps those surface currents from transporting too far. It's mixing, almost creating like a turbine with these seamounts. And that's when that Gulf Stream actually forms eddies and then proceeds then eastward into the Atlantic Ocean. There are canyons that are deeper than the Grand Canyon and the extinct underwater volcanoes, the seamounts, are higher than any east of the Rocky Mountains. Because of those combinations, it's just this magnificently rich environment that so many species rely on. There's this incredible landscape that just plays out underneath the sea and it's filled with water and that water is filled with life. The marine mammal species that pass through this marine monument, whether it's the right whale, the blue whale, the variety of dolphin species, skates and rays, sea turtles, but also the corals. They can be hundreds to over a millennia in age. They can be as tall as trees. And so when they go down to do dives on the monument and shed light on these amazing places, you really get to see the beauty. We can take actual trips to the deepest parts of the ocean, and we can do this remotely with remotely operated vehicles. I can sit in my office and look at my computer screen and see the video live from an underwater vehicle, talk to the scientists on the ship and to other scientists around the world. There have been numerous times where all of these scientists have just not been able to describe what species this is. And this is potentially then a new discovery of certain species, whether it be coral or sponges or new fish, that we didn't know previously existed in this area. You know, I often describe every dive with an ROV into the deep ocean. There's always some gift from Mother Nature. Uh, there's something new that we learn or something incredible that we see. And it's not always what we expect. There are mammoth skulls sitting at the canyon heads because guess what, woolly mammoths were roaming in the canyons. Probably only 50% of the species in the marine monument itself have been identified. We still have a lot left to be discovered. The idea that there's nothing left to explore is, is fantasy. How animals behave, how they interact, how they hunt for prey, how they avoid becoming food for others, how they reproduce, or all these fundamental questions that we want answers to, in part from an intellectual curiosity perspective, but more important from being able to understand how life is distributed, what it takes to survive in order to conserve them uh, for the future, given human impacts to the planet. By preserving it and putting these places aside for conservation and preservation and just maintaining the integrity of these spaces, it's going to help to sustain the life of those species around it, the species that pass through it, and then the people and the cities and the areas that all rely on that, that connection to this magnificent place. This isn't a, a place just for me and my colleagues. This is a national, international resource for people to be able to study life in the oceans. Even seagulls. We hope that this information can contribute for years to come for future scientists, as well as inspire other young generations to continue research and exploration in their own ways. All that is leading to preserved lands, wildlife species, and everything else for future generations that are going to look at these areas that are set aside and conserved and protected and saying, thank goodness this is here. If it wasn't for them putting it aside, I wouldn't get to have this experience. Growing up as a first generation American, my parents really fought for my siblings and I to have that pursuit of passion, of where we're able to study what we truly love, and we're here to inspire the next generation. Hopefully 20, 30 years from now and long into the future, these canyons remain protected. The communities of animals are abundant and diverse and resilient, and that knowing that this place exists makes people feel better as, as Americans and as global citizens. It helps people connect to the mysteries of our world and feeling like we're part of something. The mysteries are endless. We just have to take some time and discover them.